What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellboard Gaming here. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellboard Gaming here. Monkey dudes and monkey cats. Hellboard Gaming here. Welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Monkey. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Now. I know it's been a while since I've recorded anything. I've been really busy with stuff in real life. I moved, etc. Set up an office, but I wanted to start this video off real quick by showing everyone my bank. So if you want to see what I have, you go slow just so you can see the current status as a before this video clip. This is everything in the bank so far. Now, today is April 3rd, which is a Friday, 2020, and uh, I plan on doing a stream tonight, which of course you guys won't see this till late because this video won't go out for a little bit, but I'm going to be doing a stream and I'm going to be getting some clips for this video like most people that do RuneScape videos do, but it's been a while since I've been on here, so I thought I'd give you a heads up first and you can see a before and then if I remember to, I'll show you an after when I'm done with the video. These videos, I don't know the length they're going to be. I know some people prefer longer, some people prefer shorter, but I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I'm going to have to make a plan. I, I usually have some sort of plan, but don't these dark wizards attack me? Ah, oh, good, good, good. Chop some willows, get some levels, but anyway. I will see you guys in just a second for you guys. Also, I forgot to mention, I don't know how my audio is going to be because, again, I moved, so a lot of things are different. I'm going to do my best to keep the audio decent quality, but I can't make any promises that it's going to even be that great. But we'll see. Uh, so I apologize ahead of time if the audio is crappy or if there's a lot of any background noise at all. There shouldn't be. I'm going to be streaming on YouTube some of this account, and I'm going to be like recording clips of it so that I can upload it later. So... If there is some background noise and such, I apologize. Um, especially with what's going on and people working from home, you know how it is. So, West, um, Goblin Diplomacy. I think I should go ahead and get it done. It's a pretty simple quest. I'm just going to start off grabbing some red berries over here. Uh, world hopping has been restricted because of uh, attacks on worlds, so I can't do a lot of world hopping, so I'll just, I just wait. It doesn't take long to refill. Anyway, guys, I will meet you at the end of the quest. Yeah when making a die. I am so smart. That's one onion down. I gotta run back and go get another onion. Dang, nabbit. Oh well. Don't make that mistake. Right click, use. And I did right click to use, but I accidentally clicked eat instead of use because of the pixel difference right here. Darn. Hey, well, it's on my mind. Uh, I don't know if I got all that. Um, but I changed the UI I think I said that last episode, but I don't know for sure, so just in case I've changed the UI around, I'm hoping this UI looks better with uh, recordings because, I mean, I, I think it looks better. I got the onions. Use. See, use. Use. Yellow dye. Use. Oh, it's not like you eat them. Die. Boom. Got all three dyes. Make orange dye. Orange is one of the dyes. There, I got an extra onion just in case I accidentally ate it. I got two red berries for the Knight's Sword, which is also on my list of quests to do soon, if not today. So, yeah, I just don't want to die. I got to make sure not to die to those guys. Okay, so hold up. I need to go to Goblin Village, which is north of... Actually, you know what? I think, I think there is a cut. Yeah, I can take this cut and run this way. So I can just keep going north. Alright, that's what I'll do. Fastest way is straight line, so let's take the straightest line I can. Going to the Goblin Village. Let's go. You know what, guys? I've decided to also do Doric's quest. While I'm here, and Doric is on the way, I might as well go ahead and do it. So I gotta grab my pick. Um, I don't know what pick I have right now. I have I have a steel pick. I can wield it, so let's wield it. Let's go ahead and mine the ores he needs, which can be found over in Remington, so I can actually get this both done at the same time. Because <laughs> they're both on the way. Because, I mean, look, here's Doric's hut for his quest, and then here is Goblin Diplomacy. So, like, boom. You can just knock it out on the way and get them both done. 
So let's do that. Work. So let's do this. Hello, traveler. What brings you to my humble smithy? Um, I want to use your anvils. My anvils get enough work with my own use. I make pickaxes, and it takes a quite a lot of work. And if you get me some materials, I can let you use them. I'll get you the materials. All right, six clay, four copper, two iron. Uh, here's a pickaxe in case you need it. You know, it's funny. You should acquire those exact things. What do you mean? I can f usually fit 28 things in my backpack, and in a world quite full of literally limitless possibilities, a complete coincidence has occurred. I don't understand what you're saying. I have those exact items in the same quantity. Wow, what a coincidence. Pass them here. Spare some coins for your trouble. Please use them anytime. Here you go. And that gets me a level in... Um, yeah, it gets me a mining level. Level 40 mining. Now I can mine gold. Heck yeah. All right, that's one quest down. Now to go to the other one. All right, so you climb up this ladder. You search a crate. There's a goblin armor. That's one down. You can climb back down the ladder. It's at the entrance of it. And then there's one inside the western hut. Um, between the small square hut and the general's hut. This one? Yeah, this one right here, I believe. It's from Run On. Search this crate. You get another armor. And then there is one behind the general's hut. General's hut's here. So, yeah, it says behind, so I'm assuming... I would, oh, this crate right here. And this should be the last one. And that's all three. And you just die one of them and die another one of them like this. And then talk to the general. And you complete the quest. So we talk to him. We should wear green armor. Green armor, are you stupid? Yeah, red armor. No. Red armor, it's because you're stupid. Not stupid. Red armor's better. Stupid goblins like that. And then... Do you want me to pick an armor color for you? I don't know what else is to do. Huh? But as long as you pick green, now you have to pick red. What about a different color? Let's see before we decide. Bring us new color. What color we try? Orange armor might be good. Yes, bring us orange. And then talk to them. Orange armor here. It's armor. So the goblin goes into the changing room. What do you think? No, I don't like it. It clashes with skin. Darker like blue. Yeah, blue might be good. Human, get us blue. So then you talk to them again. Does it matter what general? Or is there only one general? Uh, I don't think it matters really. Wait, what? I have some blue armor here. And then he goes back in. He goes change into the blue armor. That clashes. I mean, it looked cool normally. Not goblin color at all. Brown. Yeah, brown might be good. Get us brown armor. Never mind. Anything's worth a try. Then you talk to him again, who says the same stuff. I have some brown armor. Go put on the brown armor. So he goes and puts on the brown armor. <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, okay, I have to keep changing. What do you think? But quite nice. Brown armor it is. Thank you. Take this gold bar as a reward. <laughs> That's one quest done. So they go with the original color anyway. But it is what it is. Uh, that's funny. Well, guys, it's time to do a quest. As you can see, I have red berry pies and iron bars. I do want to get some uh, blur right. So we're going to do this quest. And I'm also going to do... I brought a hammer so that I could go ahead and do the... Um, other quests too. So I have to get blurite bars ores for this. Um, do I have to smelt them myself? Um, anyway, I'm going to get one for the Fador Easy Diary as well. So let's go ahead and start this quest by talking to the squire and uh, see you guys when it's done or if I die or something. Safe spot right here. He can't hit me. Ah, <sighs> safe so far. I got. I didn't know everything was aggressive in this dungeon, but everything's aggressive to me. Uh oh, don't find me. I just gotta mine one more rock, and then I'm out of here. So we can do this. 
We can do this. Now, run. Let's go. Run. Oh, crap. Yeah, not risking. Not risking. If I get hit again for a six, <laughs> you know, it won't kill me, but one HP is not a risk because these guys can still attack me. And then so can the thieves, or the pirates here. They are all aggressive to me. Hobgoblins and pirates. Both. The muggers are not. Alright. I just want to be at full health. Feel better at full health. Alright. I got the ore. I haven't talked to Thurgo yet, but I feel like you can get the ore first. So, boom. Got the ore already. Done with this part. The scary part. So I can actually take my armor off and weigh less. All right, let's go. Swords, I gotta take them back to the squire, which I'm doing now, but I got myself a copy of the sword, so I have my own, so haha. -ha. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? It look awesome. Ah, there's stuff in the way. Get out of the way of this shot. Disclaimer shot failed, man. Sword's pretty cool looking, so it's mine now. Thank you, I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. 13,000 smithing XP almost. Which gets me to 32 from 20. I can now make steel maces. That's awesome. I had to drop mine just in case. I didn't want to lose it. So there's one last thing we're going to do that I'd like to do uh, before ending this clip, this episode. And uh, that is going to be, I'm going to go smelt in the furnace. I'm out of run energy, so I better just walk this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing. Um... Diary task. That's the word I was looking for. So let's smelt this. Come on. A little faster, please. A little faster. Smelt a blue right bar. I have a single blue right bar smelted. And then we go up to Doric's Anvil and make crossbow limbs out of it. That is the last thing I want to do for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and thank everybody for watching this episode of um, I'm still streaming. I might, I'm, I'm going to hang out with stream a little bit longer. I'll probably switch accounts, but so I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll have some more content soon. I plan on doing more recording on this account, you know, cause I, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoy it. It's, it's pretty fun to me. Okay. Well, I just closed the door. So let's go in here, use this on this anvil and make some limbs. That is the easy task done. So thanks everybody for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic time and there should be more content soon. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, monkey dudes and monkeyettes.